Greetings and salutations, fellow P. Diddy fans. <laughs> I'm sure by now everyone has uh, <laughs> heard about that. <laughs> it's been a funny, funny day yesterday, last night. A random sudden accident involving a large container ship. That just so happened to have a diversity hire program. Awaiting your command. And a famous rapper being raided for his uh, alleged participation in a sex slave smuggling ring. <laughs> God help me. <laughs> the current year, 2024. It just keeps getting more and more ridiculous, doesn't it? I don't know. What, what, what more could possibly happen this year? I, I don't even know anymore. Surely there must be Protect some sort of limit at some point, I imagine, to the absurdities that can occur, but maybe not. Maybe not. All right. Finally, after many, 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 many turns of slow and incredibly laborious moving this army through forts to try and minimize its expenditure, my very first professional army has actually made contact with the enemy. God help me. Many archers were hurt in that bridge collapse. They were. They actually were. That was the worst part of it all. And yes, the company was bragging about their, uh, their diversity and equity and inclusion initiative. <laughs> Which is just kind of brilliant. Like so. What are, uh, what are your proudest achievements there now? Well, funny you should <laughs> ask. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, oh, heavens. Like, I don't know what could, I, I don't know what else could possibly happen, honestly. I don't, I don't even. Like, I, I am not making any predictions for this year. Because uh, no matter what I do, no matter what I say, no matter how absolutely, patently absurd it might sound at that particular point in history, it is going to have absolutely nothing on actual observable reality. That seems to be the, the only firm and honest truth at this point. And hey, I feel semi-safe in talking about it here, uh, because for some weird reason, which I have yet to discern, these streams also get monetized. Even though I've got what is probably fairly blatantly copyrighted music going in the background. Well, remixed, mind you, but it's basically the Lord of the Rings soundtrack with a couple of extra beeps and boops here and there. Huh? You'd think that Warner Brothers would be all over me for that. Or Embracer Group, I think, actually, now. I think they're the ones that, uh, actually own the, uh, the rights now, aren't they? Uh, camera rotation speed? Camera zoom in speed? 
I don't have an option to do that, do I? Oh, God help me. What does minimal HUD look like? Oh, actually, no. I, I need to increase the zoom in and out speed. I don't even remember if that was a... An option, but we're going to find out eventually. But the whole P. Diddy thing has got to be the best one. It, it really has to. Because I'm pretty sure he did a music video back in the day. When he was accused of some shit and then fled on a private jet. <laughs> Who could have believed that was, that was prophetic? <laughs> oh, he already told us how this is going to, going to end. I don't know why the, uh, the ATF boy even is bothering, honestly. They already know he's going to escape. He told us in, what, 2012 or something? Oh, fucking know. I help P. Diddy in and of itself. That's a fucking... That is a name from a bygone age, isn't it? Heavens. Right, so I'm up against some cavalry, some skirmishers, the random tiny remnants of a thousand shattered armies. The usual. Okay, well, you guys will face off against most of that, and we'll have uh, the swordsmen backing them up with the fruits of the loin. And the spearmen will probably back up the cavalry. I uh, can't help but notice that they're <laughs> currently charging me pell-mell, which is an interesting decision on their behalf. Are those territorial guardsmen as Azrazai warriors? No. I was wondering if they might be, uh, you know, archers, because that would make a certain sense, I guess. But hey, I'm more than happy to get a few uh, free bolts off, of course. Why not? Oh. Well. I got one of them. Oh, no. Got a few more. Oh, aren't these just like my dudes, but in different color schemes? <clears throat> I think they are. Oh, but they do actually change their little shields, too. And I feel like their guys are more armored than mine, which makes me a little bit upset. Those are definitely more armored than mine. Silly, silly little Ara Adwin. You shouldn't wander over like that for no purpose. I'll just get you shish kebobbed. I don't know. I, I feel like... I feel like... I feel like P. Diddy doesn't necessarily require to, you know, begin his own little, like, sex laundry ring. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't see that as a necessary uh, undertaking for P. Diddy. I don't know why. I imagine he's already got a fair few bit of cash, right? He had a long and productive music career, I think. I mean, I don't know if he's had a long and productive music career for a while now, admittedly, but still. And how the fuck are you pitched on that? Like, that's what I'm really wondering. Who comes to your house? Because obviously you, you probably got like people making movies and stuff and they come over and be like, Hey, P. Diddy, you're like a name and music and stuff. Want to like have a cameo in our weird driving movie or something? It's It's got Vin Diesel in it. You know him, right? He's bald. I'm sure that happens. But what the hell are the people who come to your house and go like, So, I've got this impeccable connect in Cambodia. Offering young black women at record prizes. <laughs> Get in on the market now. <laughs> we'll take care of all of the logistics. <laughs> mm. And you know there's got to be some serious logistics involved too. I mean, come on. Transportation alone's got to be a fucking nightmare, right? It's not like the good old days where you could do this shit legally. Now you got to smuggle them in, which means bribes... Not to mention, can you imagine transporting large quantities of people, you know, secretly, in containers? They're going to need food, they're going to need uh, toiletry accommodations, they're going to need air, they're going to need ventilation. 
If you don't want to, you know, bust the goods up completely, you're probably going to need to at least to some degree take care of them. Ah, oh, it seems like a lot of hassle for relatively little pay, I'd imagine. Fire arrows, eh? Um... I should, shouldn't I? Like, I've always wondered if there's any point in not using fire arrows, and it, it really doesn't seem to be. Do they load slower? I seem to remember, back in the good old days, they said that the fire arrows were, like, less accurate, but... If they are, I haven't noticed it. I'll just inch you forward a little bit. I'll probably try and annoy them with the cavalry, I imagine, to try and get them to... To charge off screaming. Or maybe the archers. Actually, we'll keep the fruits of loin on the flanks. They've only got one cavalry, so I'd love to draw that off and kill it with spearmen. Still on range? Okay. Hmm. Misa Wonder. Misa Wonder. Misa Wonder if I can't annoy them into attacking me. Load slower, slightly shorter distance. I don't think it had anything to do with the range, did it? And I have no idea if they load slower. Right. You guys, run over there, see if you can maybe annoy them a little bit. Piss them off, because I'm pretty sure I've got superior range. Oh, actually, no. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, no, they've actually got better range. And armor, too. Damn. That's pretty nasty. That feels like absurd overkill. Tempted to send the cavalry over there to kill him, but eh, feels like a waste. Pretty sure I should have some pretty serious missile superiority here. Right, did that unit get murdered? Yeah, it did. I mean, hardly a surprise. Now, what are you shooting at? Oh, no, they're still there. I keep forgetting this video game doesn't really have, uh, you know, morale, really. Because I think I would freak out if I was being shot at by ballistas and there were five of me. I feel like I'd be screaming at that point rather loudly and insistently. What about you, Marines? Oh, you've got javelins. Okay, I don't mind you. And crossbows, really? Huh. I didn't even know there were crossbows in Lord of the Rings. Oh god, I really need to increase the zoom in and out speed. Oi, painful. Ah, you got a little crossbows too, don't you? And you're remarkably missile resistant. Okay. One more of them. Remarkably fucking missile resistant. Okay. Well. 
I don't know if this is worth it due to the fact that there's no morale system at all. I, I feel like I'm just kind of shooting them and not really gaining a whole lot out of it. And I'm taking some casualties from turn, which I'm not sure is even worth it. See if I can draw them in a little bit. I would happily shoot at the crossbowman. What did I... Retarded. Come on, get back there. Pick up your bones, Good your boys. Are you in range? Oh, yes, you are. Good. We're under attack. There you go. And that seems to have pissed off a lot of them. Oh god, I really need to fix the fucking zoom in and out. Positions. Light infantry, light infantry, light infantry. That is basically light infantry. I'm not too worried about it. Hold the fire. Gondor Cavalry Militia, I feel like that shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Heresy's the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> if we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Uh, where are you going? Where the fuck are you going? Okay, interesting. Uh, right, I see. Okay, that was not at all intentional. I thought I told them to stay put. Apparently I had not. Apparently wander off as you please were their instructions. Alrighty then. And is my cavalry getting absolutely beat to shit? It is, by militia cavalry somehow. I see. Interesting. Those from behind. You don't have any more ammo. Holy shit, you are actually getting stuck down by militia cavalry. I fucking wish my militia cavalry was this good. Holy shit. Do they just have like much better militia units? I feel like my militia cavalry pretty much got absolutely munched the moment they made impact with anything. Okay. Shoot those. 
the enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Spearmen, but I should be able to catch them out. I mean, they claim light infantry, so surely... If I simply just slam them with two units of cavalry from two sides... That was extraordinarily disappointing. And it had absolutely no effect on their morale whatsoever. I keep forgetting that this game does not have a morale mechanism. Ah, oh, god, I'm taking way too many casualties here. Way too many casualties. Why did you wander off? I'm very confused as to why you chose to do that. Very confused. Ah, oh, god, yeah, this is all... Yep, yeah, no, I Our fucked that up completely. I need to reload that whole fucking thing. Ah, oh, god. I need to remember how to play this game again! God help me. I was getting overconfident. It's like, oh, hey, I've got actual soldiers this time. I can afford to spread them out a little bit. No, no you can't. Your actual soldiers will still be given a fucking run for their money by enemy militias. You cannot become comfortable. I know it seems mid-maxy too, but you cannot afford to take casualties in this mod. You cannot. I actually need to rebind that zoom in. Hi all, says, have you tried Last Alliance Total War Brings Middle Earth to Shogun 2? What, what, what to know if it is as good as Medieval 2 mod? I have not tried it, no. Alright, zoom. Is there? Game options? Is there? Is there no zoom options? Uh, give me a second, I'm gonna check the main menu. I'm pretty sure there were zoom options. Don't charge with cav into spears. A hundred cavalry charging at unformed spearmen in the open from two directions? It's actually pretty good. In any other game, that works out pretty fucking well. In fact, in any reality, that works out pretty well. This is why formation needs to be a much larger part of video games, incidentally. Because even if you've got spears, if you are not in a formation to actually utilize those spears, the spears matter for nothing. This is how you see pike blocks being overrun by cavalry, for example. Uh, zoom options, zoom options, zoom options. Zoom options. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Are there really no zoom options? There isn't, are there? This was before that time, wasn't it? It might be. Oh god. Movement speed. It might be. It might be before that time. Okay, well, I'll just increase the speed of the camera a little bit then. It's weird the things you memory hole. <laughs> Because I never remember the zoom in being particularly unresponsive. All right. Awaiting your command. Be more careful Run, this people. time. So what is actually what? Uh, Marines. Territorial Guardsmen. Total defense 15. Total defense 15. What were my guys? Protect the blood of Numenor. Let them have it, man! So I think they're using the same militia units as I do, but I think they might just have higher defense. Probably because they've just got better armor, because they probably just got better smithies. 
I think this this might be the capital of Dol Amroth too, which means they're probably getting uh, created with really good equipment. Okay, my camera isn't working. Uh, my... <laughs> no. The enemy have brought up more men. My camera stopped working. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Why? Uh, game options. Total War camera. It, it broke my camera control. Uh, all right, all right, I guess. Oh, I'll deal with it. I can't change my... No, I can't. General camera, no. Okay. My camera controls are now bound to the numpad. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Oh, hey, but the zoom in is a little bit better. Yeah, the zoom in's a bit better. Nice. Okay, maybe just increasing the... Uh... Okay, well, it made the zoom in a little bit better. It just, you know, broke all of my controls. Oh, well, that's normal. It's going to be a pinch unusual, now that I got used to my actual proper WASDA controls, but oh well. Ooh. Rotating using the mouse. An interesting experience. I think right about there was in range. So leading off their cavalry actually worked pretty well, so I think I'll I'll do that again. But I need to tease out their stuff more. Right, we're using numpads. Oh, what are the conspiracy theories on the boat crashed? Has anything come out yet? Anybody blaming Russia or something? It would be mildly funny if it was Russia, but somehow... Somehow I doubt it. Somehow I honestly don't know if I think Russia has the capabilities to, you know... Take over a ship or something in real time. I think that is Russia in television. Russia in Marvel movies rather than Russia in reality. I think Russia's hacking capabilities are extraordinarily limited. Oh hey, Household Guard. Those, that sounds valuable. Is that, the, is that the general? I need to get some catapults and just start sniping generals. I think that's what I need to start doing. Uh oh, that was a bit long. And that was a bit long, too. Third tries the charm. That's more like it. Fire arrow is probably not ideal against char targets at long range, I'd imagine. Yeah, there definitely seems to be increased accuracy when you're firing with the non-fired-out overrides. 
Some are saying it's a cyber attack. See, that's kind of what I was thinking too, the first time I just saw it, because you see the lights on the boat blink out. That indicates loss of control. Now, there's a whole lot of reasons for why a ship might lose control, mind you. That doesn't have to necessarily be like, oh my god, the Russians hacked it. There could be a whole lot of reasons for that. It could simply just be, you know, shoddy maintenance. It could be poorly set up controls. There's a whole lot of reasons why a ship might run into basically major mechanical failure. Particularly considering that the company in question also bragged about their diversity hiring program a little while earlier. But in these trying and dangerous times, it's often uh, tempting to perhaps to leap to conclusions, isn't it? You are being retarded, sir. Please, go over there. A little bit of good old-fashioned human failure is probably at, uh, probably at fault, honestly. But that's nowhere near as funny, though. Or as amusing, or as interesting. Like, human error. Nobody wants to hear about human error. That's boring. If something's gonna go wrong, it needs to be something interesting, goddammit. Something a bit more pronounced. And I mean, there was that whole kerfuckle in Russia a little while ago. Which I already saw some people blame on America, which is like, I... Eh. Terrorist attacks not really America's style, I feel like. I don't, I don't think so. When America wants to arm terrorists, it just does. It, it just actually arms them. Uh, it doesn't need to beat around the bush or anything. It did it in Afghanistan. I see no reason why it wouldn't simply do it here. Okay, hey, you've got Chechen terrorists? We're just gonna give them AT-4s and javelins. Yeah, no, America's way more upright when it comes to that shit. Hello. Are you perchance going to feed me some of your cavalry? Because I'd really love it if you'd feed me some of your cavalry. No? No? Well, that is a tragedy. Maybe if I tease them a little again. US State Department knew was going to happen, just didn't stop it. Well, they actually told the Russians, at least so is the claim, that they contacted the Russian embassy and said, like, hey, something's gonna happen. And then something did in fact happen. Which wouldn't surprise me if they did either, because uh, if nothing happens, then America will just shrug its shoulder and go like, eh, you know. And if something does happen, they get to lord it over Russia for an extended period of time. Be ready, ready. Please shoot the cavalry. I don't like the cavalry. Ah, plus they're standing atop more valuable stuff too. Damn it, attacking me already? I miss the old Total Era War AI that would just sit there and get shot at for an extended period of time. Those were the good old days. Four of them left. Damn, I'm not doing as much damage as I thought I would be doing. Right, fall back. Let's see. What are these things would be valuable?
I'm hoping this will not, you know, shoot my Minas Tirith guard. That would be unfortunate. Shouldn't. Man, shoot up a household guard. They seem valuable. if they want to shoot me a little bit. I imagine I've got all plate my oh dudes have like all plate armor. I should be able to stand up to a little bit of shooting pretty well, I imagine. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will Interesting. be Interesting. Did they kind of just reform their lines directly on top of me? I I think they did. I see. Fascinating. Yep, I think they pretty much did. Uh, very fascinating indeed. Hmm. Okay. shooting at still the household god yep stop shooting Halberdiers. I should have a pretty good shot at their archers from here. Go right into their crossbowmen, and you guys hold fire. Surely that's gonna hurt a fair bit. Yes, yes, it is gonna hurt a fair bit. Not enough to break them, uh, not enough to. Not enough to even shake them, actually, but. Enough at least to mildly upset them. Uh, actually, no, not really. That did nothing to them. Well, it killed a bunch of them, but... Good tidings. There goes Enemy the general. general lies dead. Only half the enemy force remains. I am amazed that these guys are holding out so well against what should be much better troops. Keep going around the footmen. They just tired trying to tag my cavalry, and I see no the particular reason to let bloodied. them. They have lost half their men. Without their general, they actually have to play with morale turned on, which makes this a lot more easier. And suddenly you can begin, you know, inflicting morale effects on the enemy, like wavering. They might even begin to flee. Granted, that's still going to require significantly more than, you know, merely being surrounded and attacked in the rear by heavy cavalry, of course, because 
Now, we know from our own history that being assaulted from behind by a heavy horse doesn't really negatively affect Formation's uh, morale in any real way. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a myth, you see, that heavy horse charging into disorganized enemies from behind is uh, somehow detrimental to a unit's abilities to fight. There are, there are no, there's no evidence to suggest that this is real. Certainly the game does not seem to think so. At least they can still be used to chase down some enemy infantry, that's nice. The crossbowmen uh, are still standing strong. There's eight of them left. They're outnumbered a little over a hundred to one. It doesn't really phase them, but... There we go. Our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the ah, attack. last enemy general, that's why. In their defense, they're so disorganized they didn't notice. <laughs> kind of. Ah. Oh. My dream Total War is one in which there needs to be more focus on the order of, of units. Because, see, again, I've had a rant about this previously, but the the most important part of an army's ability to fight has nothing to do with their numbers or even the quality of the troops. It has to do with their ability to fight in and retain effective formation. This is why the Romans were able to the easily defeat even numerically superior hordes of physically superior barbarians. The barbarians had longer swords, they carried often heavier shields, they were larger physically than the uh, Italians at the time. They had every advantage, they even had the home field advantage and a numerical advantage. A wise choice. I would like a thousand gold. Thank you. We shall remember this day. Awaiting your command. I Slay think. Them. I think Let I can just. Assail the enemies of Gondor. Okay. Ah, uh, for shits and giggles, how much casualties are you going to give me for just you know? Uh, Eighteen. I'll take it. I probably can't do any better. Never Thank you. Return. Our realm is expanded. Finally, one Dol Amrothian city weapons. liberated from the unfathomable incompetence of their Dol Amrothian overlords. Maintain order. I don't think you can... Ready, you weapons. can actually move a little bit more, okay. Captain of Gondor. Alright, let's get... Uh, a bunch Ready, of you in weapons. there. Onward! By your command. ASAP. Awaiting your command. Maintain Captain of Gondor. Ready your weapons. Let's see. Uh, a long ship. Well, that's intriguing, but not necessary. Right. They've already got another more or less full army there. I did take casualties, but I'm hoping I didn't take too many casualties to be able to take another Maintain attack order. there. Right. I've been Consider sieging this door. thing for ages as well, as the Chinese haven't really bothered me too much for a little while, which is nice. Ready your weapons. I'm honestly tempted to just attack it, but there are so many generals units in there, I'm I'm Protect not sure how attacking it is gonna work out Protect for the me. Blood of Maintain order! I Protect might just send up Numenor. all the, the Fruits of the Loin and try and take it just with Fruits of the Loin, basically. Awaiting your command. That is going to be a awfully bloody fight, though. Maintain order. 
There will be much honor in defeating you. There will be much awaiting your command. I might Captain of Gondor. I might try that next Maintain turn. Order. Right. With the ransom, we've actually Protect got a little bit of an Numenor. income going, which is cute. Let's see. How's my second army? I really I really need to get started on building a fleet again. So the second army currently has like three guys to its name uh, working on a fourth working on catapults i i want more fountain guards but i don't think i can justify the 470 bucks upkeep and i really don't know about cavalry i really don't know about the cavalry part of me wants to bring more cavalry Another part of me really do not want to bring more cavalry at all. Steward's Hall. Uh, three extra expert units. Okay. Right, with that, I can probably afford to shift some of this around. If I even want to. I really don't want to just remove these guys because they're really experienced and veteran. Ah, yeah, there you go. No, these are, yeah, 15, 15, yeah, it's the same. Yes. Because they're so veteran, but I probably don't need them up there. And I really do. Leave me be. I really should get started on a navy again. No matter as retarded as that sounds, seeing as you know, I deleted the navy. But I really should, and I shall. Cavalry equals win. I see. Normally, I'd agree with you. I'd absolutely agree with you. Normally, I would not be found dead without at least, like, four Captain units of, of cavalry in my army. Isengard is really getting dicked, by the way. But in this, where there is so little morale effect from charging heavy cav into the rear of engaged troops, the cavalry just don't feel that useful. If anything, I feel like I just want more catapults to try and snipe enemy commanders, honestly. Oh. Oh, armored trolls. Brilliant. Oh, that's great. That's that's really great. Armored fucking trolls, eh? Ooh. Fantastic. I might I might start just cheesing the shit out of these. In fact, let me try. I've I've got this idea. I've got this idea for a rather cheeky little tactic that might be doable here. A very cheeky tactic. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to change the controls. Yeah. Okay, we're sticking to the edge panning for a bit longer. I have a very cheeky idea, which I'm not sure if works, but if it does work, then that would be very adorable. Let's see. All of you, with the exception of you, go over that. Right, so these are free units. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have these free units run out of the gate immediately and tag the enemy's rams and ladder because the AI doesn't seem very good at using rams or ladders, if at all, in fact. So I'm going to try that out and just... Just see what happens to them. This will be a little little test run to see. Because back in the day, again, the AI was actually incapable of picking up siege equipment if the unit using it had been tagged. And since these are free units, I literally don't care what happens to them. This could be very cheeky, and this could be very abusive. Let's fly, man. Let's fly. 
Exceptionally so. Tards. Well, they're not feeling good. I'll say that. But their morale is completely unaffected. They're being asked to sally out alone against an overwhelming enemy force whilst getting shot in the back by their own defenses, uh, getting surrounded by man eating Uruks. Their morale, rock steady. Could not care less. <laughs> Only a military genius could win this battle? Well, don't worry about it. Okay, that brings up the second ram, but I've got a second free unit of troops that I don't care about. In fact, it would be hilarious if I could tag that one without unit two. That would be very funny. Come on. Get in there. Tag that other unit as well. Got in there. Get in there, lads. Sell your lives for Gondor. Your lives for Gondor. Do it now. You're not even moral panicking anymore. You're fine. There we go. And that's how you win a battle. That right there. That's... Uh, that's... <laughs> That's how you win a battle, ladies and gentlemen. In case you were wondering, it works. Oh, 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 oh that is very exploitative, and that is very terrible. That is very, very exploitable and very, very terrible, and I kind of like it. All right. Now what, little orkies? Now what? Now what are you going to do? Now what are you going to do? There's two guys left. Their morale is still holding steady. There we go. Oh. They still kept a hold of the second ram. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yes, yes, good. Get into range. Oh no. Oh no. The AI has learned how to pick up I've learned how to pick up rams. Oh, oh. This is very, very retarded. Oh, is the ram inching closer? Oh no, the ram is inching closer. The strategy may not be working. Strategy maybe have been a foolish one. I may instead have wasted all of my ammunition. Oh no. On the bright side, I have killed a lot of them, so it might not matter. Killed none of the trolls, but I hardly expected to. Uh, the ram. The ram is still going. The ram is still going. Now this is some solid this is some sally out action right here. See, now I'm kinda wishing these were ballista turrets, because I imagine that would have done a lot of damage. I don't know how it's moving. It's it's moving by uh, telepathy, I guess. Oh no, there's the gates. there's one guy right there pushing it. That guy. Oh, oh, he got stabbed. Ah, I do. I do miss those old kill animations. They're always so cute. Bit dippy, a bit a bit wobbly, a bit like sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But I just like the fact that there are kill animations in this game. Shout out to Liang Yang, Shout out Total War, Plants vs. Zombies, Total War Starcraft, Total War Minecraft, Total War Souls Games, Total War Vikings, Total War Pokemon, Total War MLP, Total War Fallout, Total War Ratopolis, Ratopia. You know, I would play Total War MLP. 
in a heartbeat. I imagine that would be quite the title. Plus, you can you can throw all the garbage you want at the MLP community, but when they make a mod, they make it good, okay? I will stand by it. The fucking Equestria at War mod for Hearts of Iron is a pretty gosh darn good mod. Which is weird to say, and yet it is also true. I believe my strategy may have failed me. My foolproof plan may not have been foolproof enough. I might have to actually have to do this the old-fashioned way. They have lost half their men. I mean, they've lost half of their dudes by just sitting outside my fortress, so I guess there is that. I wish my walls would provide a little bit more protection against enemy archers. Or, you know, some sort of an advantage for shooting down or something. 51% killed, 18% casualties. Again, I wish you could stock up arrows. Man, I wish you could do that. That would be such a great feature. Yeah, you just stocked up on battles and 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 battles of ammunition. Oh no, the AI has learned how to pick up siege equipment. How very unfair and cheaty of it. Curses! The enemy are battering down our gates! Darn it. The enemy's ram has breached Darn the it. Gates. The tactic does not work. The strategy is non-functional. Tarnation. Tragedy upon tragedy. The walls are no longer ours. The enemy oh. have taken. Remember to put them on hold order. And. Very Wait much for the trolls. Face. Victory will be ours. Make sure we've got them tagged. And then hold. Go on, Ballista. It's all up to you now. You're going to kill some trolls. Try not to kill that one first, because, uh, you know... Nice, that's the troll down. Ready for battle. Oh damn, some of them are actually routing. Oh, red. Ugh. Cutting it a bit close there, boy. Never again. Nice, another one down. Go on, Boromir, my lad. Actually, I wish you hadn't gone that way. I was kind of hoping you'd be a little bit more selective about where you joined the fight, but... Okay, fair enough. Oh, yeah. Good, good job. Man. Wonderful. Yes, lovely. See? Now I feel like your aim is getting a little bit, a little bit retarded here. Actually, most of you are breaking. Did I kill their general by complete unfettered accident at some point? Because uh, they're actually running and stuff. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Oh, look, high heavy infantry. You know what? I believe it. I believe it. I too would define these things as heavy infantry. In fact, I feel like I would define it as something beyond heavy infantry. Not all of them are running, but a good amount of them are. Alright, turn off the fire arrows, and uh, please... Come on now, boys, get your eyes in. There's five of them left. 
try to murder as relatively few of my dudes as you can. Uh, four of them left, come on. You know, they're pretty tall. You can you can just, you know, aim for the head, basically. Come on, I, I believe in you. I, I, I have faith. I have faith. Come on. Come on. I don't know what the fuck you were aiming at there, but it, uh, it, I don't know, maybe it hit one troll. There you go, just continue to stun lock them. Go on, I believe in you. Go on then. There you go, okay. I wish you'd shoot for their heads rather than their feet, considering, you know, the location of my troops, but... The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. Damn, that was a lot of orcs that died outside the gates there. <laughs> okay, you know what, I'm... I don't know. I don't know, I consider this strategy to be pseudo-successful. Yeah, pseudo successful is how how I would describe this. And not an not an absolute unvarnished success, but uh, not a complete failure either. God help anyone who tries to do this without ballistas, mind you. Hello there, did you, did you keep a whole unit back? Alright, well please come in deep then so I can surround and kill you all quickly. There you go, now surround them and butcher them. If nice. we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I wonder what the kill statistic of my archers were this time around, actually, because normally when they place on the walls, they don't do very well, because they need to, you know, arc their arrows, and the game's is not very good at arcing arrows. Behold In fact, the game is kind of awful at arcing arrows. That is a bloody, uh, bloody approach. Bloody approach indeed. God, I wish these were ballista towers. Our foe is utterly vanquished. Let all who remember Let's this see. day. Let's see. Ithilien Rangers. 161, 136, 222. They didn't do bad. They, they didn't do bad. I don't feel like they did amazingly well either. Watch for the enemy. I keep hoping they'll have some ransom for me. They keep not having it. Really? That's a ballsy move, don't you think? Oh, there comes another full stack. That's a bit more dangerous. Two more full stacks. Okay, that's way more dangerous, yeah. Uh, Royal Armsman's Guild in Edhelond. Let me guess. No, over there. Why does these only pop up in... Okay, well, I'll take it, I guess. But why do I only get these in, you know, cities that I don't have? I'm genuinely wondering. Because so far, I've... I mean, I've built all of the buildings, but I, I never get them in any of my provinces. I always get them in provinces that I have just captured from the enemy for some 
weird reason. Is the player not allowed to have them? Is is that a thing? I kind of hope not, because that would be retarded, but it kind of seems like it. Just a little bit. Um... God, I really... I should get some cavalry, but I really don't want to. Well, let's make it the Dolamrothian Squires. At least they've got some charge damage on them. She is better than nothing. I will not waste words on you. Maintain order. Okay, this is going to be somewhat Let determined by Captain of where exactly the enemy is going to go, isn't it? I will not waste words on you. Hmm, that's probably not enough units to withstand I will not waste a... Words I will not waste words on you. Ah, god, yeah, they're starting to spawn elite units too. That's nasty. That is very nasty. They're starting to spawn a lot of elite units. And I'm still basically fighting with militia, which is not ideal. Maintain order! Forward! Let us sit Captain of Gondor. I respect right. you, my Do enemy. I want to Lord. Impossible just straight light. move for Dol Amroth? quietly. Approaching quietly. I think I do. Onward. Slay them. Nasty. Yeah, this is one of their uh, their invasion spawn stacks. Because they've all got great armor, but they haven't really taken a lot of casualties. And they've all all got the high tier stuff. Okay. One, two, three, four, five generals. Alright. But if I can kill them, I will have wiped out another big main stack. AI gets passive boost to guild score every turn. It's difficult to outpace the AI. Okay. Yeah, I figured it was something, because I got the first arms... Oh, I forgot to do the goddamn camera again. Because the first armsman guild I got was from a tiny little no-name settlement to the far north, basically. I was like, how the fuck does this have the requirements for an armsman's guild? But Minas Tirith does not. That it probably explains it then. In all due likelihood. The enemy have brought up more men. Oh hello. Uh Is that as few men as it looks like, or are you fucking with me, video game? That's the Corsair army. In that case, I'm definitely gonna rush up there and engage them first, then. I did forget about you, Tarts. them as quickly as possible. The 
if we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, you do not need to be shooting right now. Unfortunately, I can't... Yeah, this might be a mistake to try and rush them, because they've got reinforcements very close by. And... Oh! Hello! Worthy enemy, but no less dead for that. Well, that was we fucking unexpected. Well, yeah, that was very unexpected. Only half the enemy force remains. I don't know how I ended up doing that, but I'm happy it happened, I suppose. Enemy are fighting to the bitter end, as per usual. Please, could you just attack that? I've, I'm trying to order you to attack that unit. Could you just... No? Okay, then. It's like, no, we don't feel like following orders today. Oh, but you're challen... <sighs> the controls are so f fucking weird. Are you... First, they don't want to charge. Then you can't get them to stop charging. Brilliant. And yeah, that's that over. Because yep. I've already lost an entire unit. Because they decided to fucking run off for no goddamn fucking reason. It's like hurting cats. It is like actually hurting fucking cats. It's like, charge that unit. N no. Okay, run away then. N no. Let us sit up camp. Could you please be a little bit more responsive? That would be fantastic. Okay, I should not attack them because I don't really have the <laughs> finesse control over my units to do it that way. Rather, I should move up and try and get as many of them fixated on my fountain guard as possible. That would undoubtedly be more clever. Don't let them any further. Power Fist, is Dragon Dog of us 2 worth getting? Got soured by Denuvo and MTX. Want your opinion? Going to see Dune Part 2 tonight, by the way. Oh. Well, you'll probably enjoy it, except for Ch Chani. Chani was... Ah, thank God. It's the day. Thank Jesus. I, I want daytime. I can actually see things during the daytime. I enjoyed the daytime much, much more. Thank you. It will be an unexpected but welcome boon to be able to see my troops on the battlefield. The enemy have brought up more men. Again, I really need to remember to actually fix my camera at some point, but hey. Why fix your camera when you can complain about it, I suppose. Make sure you're all in your little formations. Let's see. Household Guard. Always shoot at the Household Guard, because that's where the General is, and the General really is the one and only target you need to concern yourself with. Because if he dies, then everything gets a lot easier, although I do need to kill five Generals. And as for Dragon's Dogma 2, I think it's worth it. I really do. Dragon's Dogma 2 scratches the kind of, like, old style -y Bethesda itch for me, where I can just kind of play it, and enjoy myself and not really worry about anything else and just grind away at the game a little bit, frankly. You know, it's nothing nothing particularly complicated, it's nothing particularly advanced. That's probably what happened last time, wasn't it? One of my units got just following off on after them.
Wrong cavalry. I think I told you to run, not walk. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I mean, it sure would be lovely if I could somehow repeat that ridiculously incredible charge from last time. I would be thoroughly shocked and surprised, especially as they don't actually seem to be charging even. Please, thank you. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Yes, I was not going to get that lucky again. Dead yet. Oh, because you've got household guards on you. Okay, back them off, and you resume firing of a household guard. And swordsman, let's put you in reserve. God, they've got so many bowmen. All of that is bowmen, is it? Holy shit. Yep, all of that is just bowmen. Oh, stop that, then. How am I out of range? Genuinely confused by that. Alright, anything wandering off to tag you down? Uh, not at the moment. If you want to attack the fountain guard head on, then I'm... Why are you being dragged off over there? Please don't. Head on, then I'm quite happy to oblige you with that. In fact, I consider it downright ideal. Anything, anything that would be a good idea to charge here. Unfortunately, got so many fruits of the loin units that I don't really have any good opportunities to find anything to charge. These were doing very nicely over here. Infantry is doing okay in the middle, but not exactly stellar. That surely must have hurt to some extent, I think. Yep. The cavalry just does not feel very useful, does it? I feel like I would be way better off with just more infantry. More infantry to extend the front line. More infantry to keep fighting, because they can pretty easily just kind of cock block me forever and ever by just having their uh, general's units sit behind them and guard their ears. That charge inflicted zero damage on the enemy because the cavalry didn't actually organize themselves before attacking. Brilliant. 
you you really should try to follow orders a little bit more carefully, my dear cavalry dudes. Otherwise, you really are an enormous waste of an army slot. Move into the flank of those halberdiers and actually set yourself up to face the next group of halberdiers coming in. Um. God, they just are not. Uh, they are just not paying for themselves at all. Okay, well, we've mostly managed to deal with this flank due largely to the fruits of the loin, I imagine. Right. We've led away most of their generals from the rear, so I've actually got some dudes fighting over there now. The cavalry has actually managed to tag them to an extent. Um... You guys, go over there. I kind of want to pull back and charge again, but I also kind of just want to... No. Yep. They focus really heavily on the cavalry. Household Guard, that's going to be able to keep my units busy for a very long time, unfortunately. Another enemy general is dead. My archers are absolutely getting the shit fucked out of them. Which is unfortunate. Have you killed these guys yet? No, you're still fighting that one unit. At least the Fountain Guard are holding strong, but they are kind of the old, only ones who are. Gondorian Heavy Cavalry is more useful, I feel like, because at least they can stay in there and actually keep them busy for a while. You guys are just going to have to try and keep those Only half the enemy tanked. Force remains. They are taking good casualties. That unit is going to... Yep, there's Household Guard over there, so they don't stand a chance. Try to get them out. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. They have, but I don't know if it matters. Uh, right. Are you still fighting them? Yep. Oh, come on. I can try and kill them off. And cycle back out again. And back in again. Still not done? No, there's one of them left. One left. Back out again. Absurd though it may seem, the unit of eight squires have actually done more damage to the enemy than the unit of 60 squires. Which is an interesting thing to think about. Are you... There's one guy left. Okay, please kill him. I beg you. Really need him dead. Preferably now. Preferably yesterday, actually. Right.
I have almost wiped out any of that unit. There's two guys left over there. The actual Gondorin infantry is standing up very well, which is nice. Are you seriously not done killing that one fucking dude? Oh my Jesus. Okay, you two just ignore him, go somewhere else. That one man is holding up my entire army. That unit has not taken a single casualty, whilst it has murdered the majority of my Gondorian infantry, which is not ideal. There we fucking finally go. A worthy enemy, but no less dead for that. A worthy enemy in bloody deed. So worthy an enemy almost took my entire army with him. Yeah, that unit needs relief like five minutes ago. My cavalry is basically dead. Okay, have you finished all of your enemies over here? Mostly. Go find something else to pick on. Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, right, there's another one. What's that? Four now? I think there's one left. Oh, that might have been the last one. Oh, see if you get out of there. You too. What are you fighting? Are you fighting... You're fighting one guy. Okay. Well, good luck with that. You're gonna need it. I'm pretty sure I told you to retreat. Could you please obey basic instructions? I beg of you. It's not that difficult, surely. Pursue and run them down. Goodness gracious. I feel like the archers have killed more in melee than they've done at ranged. You're still fighting one guy. Oh my Good Jesus. Tidings. There! That's gotta be the last one, surely. Fucking down. Down. Yes, that was the last one. I feel like I just need catapults or something that can snipe generals. That, that seems to be like what I want. Something that snipes generals. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Alright, well that will give me another city, uh, which I'll probably then need to retreat and reform the army, but that was pretty inevitable. I managed to take two cities from them, which means I'm going to reduce their continuous free spawns by, what, six units? Which is not bad. That will make holding the area a lot more doable. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. Ah, two to one KD. Not bad. Ah.
The fucking generals, though. It's like there's the I, entire unit is just dedicated to killing this one fucking guy. All right, I'm not giving you any ransom for these fuckers. Not a chance in hell. One of those fucks holds up an entire army. No, no, kill them now. Kill them now. Never shall they return. Awaiting your command. Quell yep. this evil. Just fucking take it. This field. <laughs> We've destroyed them. Finally, Dol Amroth is a beneficial city to me rather than an Here's active fucking malice. The answer. <laughs> okay, trebuchets, fucking fantastic. Catapults, great. Um, they haven't built barracks, which annoy me. They haven't built the royal hall either. But that is definitely a big step forward. The blood of Let us sit up camp here. Big, big step forward. By your command. Joining forces, okay, how much of this can I afford to peel off? Armies, Pretty much all of it. Nice. Let us sit up camp here. All right, you guys are going to be. Get me, you oh God. You are going to be heading to Mythostra as soon as you possibly, conceivably can. I am very disappointed by the Blackroot Vale Archers. Incredibly so. Like, they just... I mean, they've got seven missile attack. That is not bad, and yet they feel so... Underwhelming. Oh. Read Fox Media. Violence for the glory of Middle-earth. Also high. Hi. They feel so... Ah, hmm. Maybe it's the armor. I wish I had crossbows. I, I wish I had crossbows. Crossbows seems like they would be fucking great against all of this armor. I'm gonna stick you! Hello there, random little army of three units. Uh, why are you out in the middle of nowhere? Maintain order! Assail the enemies of Gondor! Ah, okay, that's why. Because you've got great beasts and stuff. That's gay. Protect the blood of Numenor. Oh, did you... Ready your weapons. Did you retard out there? Gondor. You did, Ready didn't your you? Weapons. You little fucking tards. Oh, goddammit. My lord. Captain of Gondor. You did! Oh, oh god help me. Ready your weapons. Your will. Have a taste of my blade! Great beasts and trolls, and that's it. No wonder they felt confident enough to waffle around in the middle of nowhere. The... Fountain Guard, though. The Fountain Guard do great. The Fountain Guard always do well. Let's see. Uh, River Norse. Arch. Truckun crashes into your remote. Mountain cabin to Isekai. You in Fort K. You will reincarnate as a Space Marine aspirant. But get to choose the chapter that picks you up. Which chapter and why? Um, hmm. The softest chapter I can think of, which is going to have to be the uh, the Salamanders, of course. Captain of Gondor. Because that will increase my survival Protect chances drastically. I will not waste words on you. I will not waste I will not waste words on you. I don't like the fact that they're approaching me with two enormous stacks of fucking dudes there. I don't, I don't of like that. Maintain order! Forward! Alright. Captain of Gondor awaiting your command. I'm gonna need to Protect fortify the these a lot more. That settlement? Is that settlement fine? Probably not, actually. I will not waste oh, words God, I really don't want to abandon this siege, but I might just have to. Protect the blood of Numenor. Maintain order! I could charge in there and try to take it, but I'm going to take so much fucking casualties. Like, one, two, three, four, five generals units. That is going to be what we call a Awaiting fucking nightmare command. to deal with. Captain of Gondor. An actual unironic fucking nightmare. Protect the blood of Numenor. Come and get me. Maintain order. Uh, 
don't want to move these guys, on? but I think I'm going to need to. Hmm. Salamanders often take 90% casualties. Yeah, but at least I'll get Cut through the, the aspirant bomb. training process relatively safely, you know? At least my odds of surviving being initiated into the chapter are reasonable, you know? One step at a fucking time is what I'm saying. Marchmen! Let us set up camp, my lord. We'll, we'll worry about the rest afterwards. Survival first, then we'll... Yes. Then we'll concern ourselves with surviving the rest of 40k. Approaching quietly. Oh, hi. Let us settle matters Ugh. on the field of battle. Maintain order! You're bringing like I a whole... I respect you, my enemy. God, their movement it speed is so fucking you. insane. It Look at that. It will be an honor defeating you. Look at that. It will be an honor. Oh my command. god, I don't even know if I can Let get in here in time. Um, hmm. God, help me. Maybe some more territorial guardsmen. My lord. As you wish, we can go no further today. Oh boy, I really don't want to call off this siege, but I don't think I can I stop two more stacks of elite, elite spawns without it. Hell, even with it, I don't know if I can take him on. I need to speed up the spawning of uh, my own troops quite badly. I might just buy the fountain guards just because I I need them. And Ready your weapons. Yeah. I'm going to have to break it. We must yield. I'm going to have to break it. Do not get played by the AI, please. Please. For the white city. Well, to be fair, as long as I get Isekai with some special abilities, you know? At least Isamai Kaimi into the body of... Oh, I can't... I forgot to change the fucking camera settings again. Uh, at this rate, this will actually become normal to me. God help me. Okay. At least, like, put me in the body of the physically strongest aspirant around, you know? Give me... Give me something. There's 47 of you. <laughs> Boy, I do hate you little skirmishy shits. Oh, no. Ah, oh, these fuckers. Ah. Oh. They get these fuckers as they're... As their general's cavalry. Oh, fuck me. Okay, well, I know where the pikemen need to be going then. Opposite that. The uh, the general's bodyguards that these guys get are... Fucking jokes. Absolute jokes. Like, I have seen them charge over bridges. Over bridge choke points. Killing basically everything in front of them. They are a little bit ridiculous. Just a little bit. Right, horse archers. I mean, I have a lot more foot archers than you have horse archers, so that should work out in my favor, I think. Except that entire volley inflicted zero casualties. Never mind! Apparently, my arrows just actually can't penetrate their incredible armored bulk. Jesus! That's six, seven hundred archers shooting. I, I honestly expected to kill like half the enemy squad at the initial volley. Jesus! 
Okay, um, that's gonna make this battle a lot more difficult. I was genuinely expecting to be able to deal with their ranged units by shooting them, but, uh, no. No, no such thing. The enemy's ranged units are fucking impervious to arrows. God, yep. Yep, I'm fucked. So defeat is <laughs> Not a chance in a million fucking years. Okay, so... The enemy archer units are immune to arrows. Fucking, that is very interesting to know. Ah. Alright, so I can't even enemy? actually break that uh, siege because the enemy units are just that much better than me. Let us set up camp here. God, God. I mean, I get that we're supposed to be playing stats and stuff, but they're just humans. If they were like, I don't know, orcs or something, or rune and plate armor, I'd get it, but they're just fucking dudes in lamellar armor. They should not be able to stand up to 700 archers pelting them. Defense 15, my God. I mean, their horses are unarmored. Uh, okay, well. I guess I need to join up with the other part of the army then. The horse setter. Hey, Arch, if you like Sambaton, you might want to check out their heavier brothers Amon Amarth and Hulk off Einharier by the later, latter in particular. Einharier. Service guarantees citizenship. The javelins hopefully will do some damage, I hope. Yeah, I admit that was a shock, um, because they didn't look particularly heavily up- God, that means that those horse archers have the same armor as the heaviest available Gondorian cavalry. Oh, come on, video game. <laughs> video game. Give me a break. Mm. Uh, you may have literal plate armored knights, but uh, that's nothing compared to my leather armor. Oh, I see. Very well. Hopefully the javelins will help out. And then the fruits of the loins are probably going to have to do most of the heavy lifting. Hum. Ah, I felt pretty good at my, my, my armor. Yeah, I don't know, never mind. I was clearly not feeling as good as I should, or feeling... I was feeling better than I should. Because normally, in any normal circumstance, having like 700 archers against 60 horse archers, they shouldn't last a volley. Because I don't care how heavily armored the dudes are. They're not even very heavily armored. I mean, they're wearing studded leather with chain mail, but their horses are unarmored. Surely 700 longbows ought to... I'll do some fucking damage to that. But complaining about it isn't going to change the game's stats, unfortunately, as much as I wish it would. I might just shoot at the swordsman instead. Because the swordsmen have the exact same armor. Oh, hi. How the... Oh. I I didn't expect my pikemen to outpace my infantry for some reason. You're, you're very nippy, you know that? You are very nippy. Alright. 
Where's the warlord? There he is. I need to try and make sure I've got the pikeman opposite the warlord as much as humanly possible. Alright, that's like 300 javeliners. That ought to cause some damage, I'd hope. Weirdly, they seem to be doing more damage to the infantry. I guess because they're in closer formation, I suppose. Target to the rearward one, because that way you will hit both of them. I mean, these are so many arrows that they've actually got a hard time walking forwards. All right, javelins. Whenever you feel like throwing your javelins, that's fine by me. You are in range, you claim. Let's try moving you forward, I guess, since you don't seem to be too interested. The Storm of Arrows is so heavy, they've actually got a hard time walking. Literally. Please throw your javelins. Jeez, look at that. It's just actually like a thick fucking storm of arrows. Oh, Canterbury and Circle too. Oh, wow. Of course you'd have that. That is a very annoying ability because it means that I literally can never catch them in melee. I know, I've misused the Canterbury and Circle on many an occasion myself. Canterbury and Circle is very, 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 very good. All right, I am beginning to spot a bit of a, a little bit of a problem here, though, and the problem is that I am actually going to run out of ammunition before I've even touched their archer numbers. Oh, they ha have they had enough? Are they going to run away? Please run away! Please, please run away! They are. Oh Jesus! Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay, don't pursue them just yet. I think they might actually be running. <laughs> Thank fuck. They've never actually seen this many arrows, and that discouraged them, which is good, because uh, I'm about out of ammo munition. Okay, here comes pain. Here comes very big ass pain. That pretty much wiped that unit. The enemy general abandons his men. Now you can abandon his men all you want. I have got Our him surrounded already. The enemy there we go, yeah. Well, and make it so he can see us defeat the rest Itu of Itu Diku Dayu Horu. Flees the field. Pursue and run them down. 
Only half the enemy force remains. Okay. Oh, well, that's that's how you do that. That's uh, that's how you uh, the battle do. Is very much oh in God, our hello. Favor. Victory will be ours. I didn't see you there. And yeah, that unit's already dead. I'm not. Yep, that unit's already dead. I I'm not even gonna bother. That unit is literally already dead. Masses of Varayag lances are going to be a problem. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Another dead general. Nice. Get in position. You just run into the rear of them, and the militia will hopefully die slowly enough to keep them busy. Lower your pikes. Get in there. The battle Lap around is them as much as you can. Victory Lower your pikes. Get in there. Only half the enemy force remains. Oh, no, 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 don't let them run! Don't let them run! Okay, well, you cut down... Nope, no, they're fine to the death. Good, 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 good. Okay, better. Much better. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Now, the benefit of fighting the Varaeg is that their uh, generals ride horses. Which might not sound like much of a benefit, especially considering their unfathomably awesome stat line, their incredible charge attack, and their high defense, but it does hiccups also mean that their general is going to be front and center, fighting your spearmen very early on, and hopefully dying. Bored by the victory. Ah, I knew I brought like 800 archers for a reason. For the enemy. That is very, 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 very tempting. And uh, thank you. Thank you very Never much. I return. wish you hadn't gone that way, Watch mind you. I really all. wish you hadn't but gone that sticks. way. I will not waste words on you. I will not waste words on I you. I really wish you hadn't gone that to way. I will not waste words on you. Really wish you hadn't gone words that on way. You. Really, really, really wish you hadn't gone that way. So, which direction is the enemy going to retreat in? Well, I'm thinking mm, deeper into enemy territory. Brilliant, brilliant, sir. Do that. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to be buying any Gondor cavalry militia. I, there will be much I think that will be you. near uniquely useless, actually. Do I abandon the fort and fall back to Fanuidun? I will not waste. I will not waste words on you. I think I. Onward. Do. Let us set up camp. I will not waste words on you. I will not waste words on you. I like how that doesn't move me back at all. Uh, hopefully, I hope the fort will get in their way or Ready something. Protect the blood of Numenor. I really wish you hadn't gone that way. I really, really, your really wish Protect you hadn't gone that way. That's like the least ideal way you could possibly conceivably go, and yet. There you are, squatting fatly, stupidly. At the same time, the 2,000 gold was a little bit too good to, a little bit too good to ignore. Ah. 
I fucking knew it. Of course you would have an entire stack the just sitting there. To our people. Of course you would. Ambush! Could you please move into the city now? I might need to redo all of that now because I sallied out thinking I could kill what was in front of me. And then it turned out to be all trolls and now I'm kind of stuck there like, oh. I can't actually sally out there at all because it, well, it was all trolls and I can't go back into the city because when you withdraw your units don't actually go back to their places. This is like one of the oldest complaints in Total War history. The fact that when your units retreat they retreat two inches and when the enemy retreats they retreat across the entire known universe. Ah, another fruit of the loins. Why? Why there? Why? Why there? Why there? Like, look, it's in the middle of fucking nowhere. Like, we'd like to set up an armsman's guild here. Why? Uh, you know, the locale is really appealing to us. Yeah. We quite enjoy it here. It's a, it's a beautiful spot. Ah, uh, fucking! Hell. I'm gonna stick you. I'm gonna stick yep. you. Yep, and of course that is a entire elite army, which I don't even know where it came from. I'm gonna stick you. Then again, judging Have by their movement speed, blade. I suppose that's hardly surprising. Have a taste of my blade. Ready your weapons. Some a few body arcs as well, but hey. I'm gonna stick you. Ah, I think I might actually have to redo that entire turn because of that. Because I clicked on that, that unit. <sighs> Maintain order. Because I don't think there's I'm gonna stick you. any way I win this. Awaiting your command. I don't think there is any that way I win this. Blade. And I could send, like, every single Fruits of the Loin unit down there, and I maybe that would be enough? You. Awaiting your command. I'm gonna stick you! Maybe? Basically, I'll just be fighting with nothing but... Nothing but, uh, generals. Well, we'll try it, at least. One misclick can cost you the entire fucking video game. Are there any... I wish I could see if there were some orcs in there, because if there's some orcs in there, I would definitely like to bring a ballista. Protect the blood of Numenor, Captain of right, So that's awaiting your command. That's six units. Awaiting your command. That's twelve units. Okay, so I can bring like Ready one more unit. Of Was Gilead veterans? Probably. Assail the enemies of Gondor. Two ballistas as well. Brilliant. Ah, right, because I can't actually command all of them. Um, and a night attack would be the worst idea in human history. Um, yeah, right about, right about the worst idea in human history. Quite closely. <sighs> yep. I'm gonna have to redo the entire turn to undo that one click. Uh, fuck me. Ah, <sighs> yep. I'm gonna have to redo the entire fucking turn because I got dumb and decided to see if I could actually kill the little army unit out in front of my fucking house. God help me. God fucking help me indeed. 
Uh, that's not far enough back, is it? Because... Nope. I figured, okay, even if I can't fight it, right, I'll just retreat. And since my city is literally right there, they'll just move back into the city. Right? No harm, no foul. No, instead, when you retreated, they, uh, they didn't actually move anywhere at all. Oh, God, help me. All right. Uh, I am not going to make you rewatch the entire fucking thing. I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna fix my fuck up on my own time. Aye. Maybe I can. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna spend the next six hours fighting this one battle to get as few casualties as I conceivably can. I am going to just play this battle for five hours, which I've done already. Remember the one battle over here where they had the two great beasts and I had to snipe them with the ballistas to, otherwise they would just kill my entire army? I spent three hours niggling my ballista into just the correct position to kill them. And they then went berserk and killed the entire enemy army, which was funny, don't get me wrong, but it took a long time to do. Now I'm gonna do that again. You know what, instead? You know what? Let's play some Rogue Trader. I'm gonna set up a Rogue, uh, I'm gonna set in a, a Rogue Battle, uh, Rogue, Rogue Battle. I'm gonna make a Rogue, uh, English is difficult. I'm gonna play some more Rogue Trader, because you know what, I need to get some more Rogue Trader out of the way, and I'm kind of feeling like something a little best, bit less, <laughs> a little bit less frustrating. <laughs> Well, I don't even know if I'd describe this as frustrating. I'm actually quite enjoying playing uh, Medieval 2 again. But it's like, and the worst part is I kept thinking to myself, like, maybe they won't have a stack there. Maybe I won't have to redo the whole thing. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I should have just, the moment it happened, I should have just bitten the, the sour fruit and been like, yep, yep, I did, I did a fuck up. I did a dumb. Reload, get do it from the beginning. That's what I should have done. Instead, I spent another hour fighting, fighting other battles, only to realize that yes, yes, that fuck up from an hour ago was indeed a fuck up. Uh, so, John, have you tried Outpost Infinity Siege? I have not. I've kept an eye on it. Um, it looked kind of cool, but I've, I see it imme burp, immediately got mixed reviews, which makes me very, 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 very skeptical. Like, mixed reviews right out of the bag? Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Like, I mean... Dragon's Dogma got mostly negative right out of the bat, so I suppose I shouldn't be holding that against it, but... Mm. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a bit of a closer look uh, once it gets a little bit further along. We'll see. I mean, I like the idea of it. Like, you basically go down on a planet, build an enormous fucking fortress, blow the shit out of anything and everything that dares so stand in your way. Yeah! Yeah, I see the appeal. I see the appeal, definitely. Maybe use the console, says chat. No, I'm not I'm not gonna use the console. I actually. Here's the thing, chat. I have already cheated. You know how I've cheated, chat? This this is a funny thing. So the developers of the game, I, I looked around on the forums looking for like uh, the feedback from various people, how they'd been playing, and I've been talking to people who played it to try and learn a little bit about more about how I need to play the game, basically. And one thing that I I was told was that the developers added in a system where if you give yourself money, if you if you console and give gold, then the AI gets ten times as much gold. So you know what I did? I went in, I gave myself a million gold, then I went in again and detracted a million gold. Now the AI has 10 million gold, and suddenly they had enough money to pay ransoms. <laughs> and suddenly, my economy was a lot easier. 
Because normally the AI doesn't have any money, which is why they always refuse ransoms. Uh, because they basically spend themselves into an enormous minus every single turn. And most of the time they just create their stuff regardless. In fact, you can open the consoles and see them like create units and stuff. Which is fair enough, you know, because the AI is retarded. But now I can actually get ransoms. So I consider that a, uh, a worthwhile roundabout way of uh, indirectly cheating in a way that the developers <laughs> actively approve of. I feel that's quite clever, chat. I feel that's quite clever, in fact. Right, I am going to raid this into the Rogue Trader stream, and we are going to play some Rogue Trader, methinks. So I want to do some 40k now. Just make sure I actually saved this. Performance is iffy in our post-Infinity Siege. That's kind of a big problem in a game Watch like that. Enemy. Because I'm imagining a lot of the thing is you're going to fight against huge numbers of enemy troops. So performance needs to be pretty good. Otherwise, it's just going to be one enormous retarded lag fest. And that is not necessarily very fun now, is it? All right. I'll see you all in Rogue Trader in just a, just a few moments, chat. Thank you for watching this. And thank you for your generous donations as well.